Hello there. Well, I've been touching a topic that we all face each and every day. And that topic is worry. I mean, we worry about everything. We worry about our bills. We worry about our health. We worry about our children. We worry about money. We're always worrying about something. Even what we wear, what we're going to eat, how we're going to make it. All these things are human things that we go through each and every day. Um, I don't know who this is for. I know that it's ministering to me because I always have to remind myself, you know, because I'm a worrier. I was a worrier. Let me let me rephrase that. I used to be a worrier. I used to worry about everything. I still worry, but not as bad as before. I have learned through the years and as God teaches me through things that sometimes I have to go through. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about worry. And I'm going to just share one scripture. There's many. And as days go by, I'll pick, you know, different scriptures that minister to me. And if it ministers to me, it might minister to you too. Um, the one that I'm going to check now with you that I'm going to bring to your remembrance is on Psalms 27, 14. I'm going to read it in two versions. It says the same thing, you know, some paraphrase it stronger than others others <laughs> others um but i just want to give you you know the umph i want you to understand you know on psalm 27 14 it says wait on the lord now wait on the lord what does that mean we gotta wait sometimes we want god to do something for us but we want it on our timing and that's not how it works trust me I know from experience sometimes we gotta wait we don't know how to wait because everything out there is the quick fix I mean you're hungry you go to any drive-in and get what you want um, even now with the ATMs you take out your money you can even deposit it through the phone I mean who waits anymore Email is quicker than writing a letter. Um, you can Skype and speak to people. You don't have to wait. So the scripture says, wait on the Lord. It also says, be of good courage. So we have wait on the Lord. That's an action that we have to take. And we got to, you know, put it to, to action. And then be of good courage. That's another action. Then here's the promise. First, we got to do those two things, and then we get this promise. And he shall strengthen your heart. And then it's the, the psalmist says, wait, I say, on the Lord. Uh, easy to read version, it says, wait for the Lord's help. Be strong and brave and wait for the Lord's help. Okay, that's Psalms 27, 14. I remember, you know, it, for an example, in my life, um, I've gone through different things we all have. And God ministers to everybody differently. What might work for me might not work for you. You know, that's why we're all different. But one of my examples is God always put in my heart and has taught me to wait upon him. And I've found myself many times where I've lost a job or I'm not working. And, you know, all my friends, they mean well, but they don't know what God is doing in my life or what God spoke in my heart. And they're like, but Nelly, how are you going to do this? And how are you going to do that? But girl, you got to do this. But And I'm thinking, wait a minute. I understand all that. And I have to do those things. Yes. But if I'm doing those things, things and things are not going in line like I think it should or when I should I have to wait upon the Lord I have to wait and trust that he's gonna make a way where there seems to be no way and that's what I want to share with you 
whatever is your situation, um, only you know, and God knows exactly what you're going through. And you might be saying, yeah, easier said than done, Nelly. I understand what you're feeling. But I also want to just share with you and encourage you, wait upon the Lord. Bring that supplication, pray to him, put it on, on his feet and say, God, you know, I need to trust you in this. And even though that I have anxiety right now and I don't know how to stand still and I'm worried about it, I have to trust that you're going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Try it. Try it. Because God's word is not going to come back void. I know because I've put it to practice. Do I have it down pat? No. What I'm talking about today, guess what? In two or three days, maybe in a week, I, I might go through a situation and forget everything I just said and, and just panic and worry about something. And then, boom, I catch myself like, nope, I'm not going to do that again. So what I'm telling you, I have to put it in practice. Yes, every day because I have to remind myself and also... You know, I always ask God, God, you know, show me your way and, and guide me. And, and when I see myself worrying about something, Lord, you know me, you know my heart. I'm worried about this, but I have to trust you right now. And I ask you to help me to not worry about it and leave it in your hands. And then I sit down and you know what? I start thinking, wait a minute. I remember such and such situation and God got me through there. And how, and how did that happen? Wait a minute, I had to wait. Was it a struggle? Yeah. But he came through and then I got a better and bigger blessing than what I thought. So I encourage you, put it to practice. Just like the scripture said, wait on the Lord. I'm going to read that again. If you have to say it, you know, to yourself, remind yourself, it's Psalms 27:14. Wait on the Lord, okay? Action. Be of good courage, you know, be strong and brave. Action. And he shall strengthen your heart. That's a promise. Wait, I say, on the Lord. When you read any scripture, I want you to do something. Just don't take the Bible and say, ah, let me read this today because I got to go. I got to run. Take time and look at those words. What does it mean? Is it an action that I have to do? Is it a promise? Hmm, how can I apply that to my day today? Maybe not even today, maybe in this week. How can I put this to practice? Don't just read and get it over with. Oh, I did my devotions this morning and then forget what you read. Even if you have to go back. Because that's our, the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth that's our basic instructions you know how we say oh man you know we had a baby and it didn't come with instructions yeah it did because a lot of the things that we face is in the bible we just gotta look and and try to learn how to apply things to our lives and i'm not telling you something i haven't put to practice and something that I need to <laughs> remind myself every day. So I just encourage you, read your word and wait upon the Lord. And he will what? He shall strengthen your heart. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Be blessed. Remember that you are a blessing. And if you are a blessing, be a blessing to someone else. Give somebody a hug today. Give them a smile. Just smiling at somebody, you know, makes somebody else's day. You have no idea how you could brighten somebody else's day just by smiling. So God bless you. And see you soon. Mwah. Jesus loves you. And I do too.